Hey everyone, and welcome to another top 10 scratch games video. This is a third top 10 video I've made, and just like the ones in the past, these games will be in no particular order. They're just kind of randomly thrown in. So if you're excited for this video, or if you're not excited, then hit the like button, and consider subscribing, and leave a comment down below. But anyway, let's get into this video. Okay, so the very first game we have is by Alps88, and it is called Boomerang Kid. And this game is super cool because of the art, and because of the gameplay itself. It's just kind of a really, really good game. Game. I don't want to spoil this dialogue for you, so I'm going to skip it, but as you can see here, there's like these directions built into the ground, which really looks good in my opinion. I really like the color palette here. As you can see here, I'm this little dude who can throw my boomerang, and I can run around, and I'm going to destroy that turret because it wants to eat me or something. But as you can see here, there's actually like AI, there's turrets, and ooh, I got a double hit. It's like a platformer, but it's more combat based. This part's always tricky. I always get damaged, so I want to probably take out the turret first. Can I like get it to go down? Yes, I can. Okay, and now on to the boss fight. So, as you can see here, there's some dialogue. I'm going to skip so that way it doesn't get spoiled. But as you can see here, I need to go ahead and take this thing out. You can see that it has a lot of health, and it spawns these, like, beams from the sky, and it even spawns these missile things that are really scary. So, I don't want to spoil the boss fight for you, but as you can see here, this game is super awesome. Next up, we have another awesome pixel art game. It is called Bionic Blitz, and it's by Super Mushy. So, if we go ahead and click play, you can see that this title screen is cool. And then once we click start, there's a really nice transition in, and then we are transitioned into the game. First of all, you gotta appreciate like the camera movement. It kind of moves with our mouse, and the UI looks really nice, and there's lots of nice screen shake effects, particles, and everything you would want. You kind of have to let your ammo reload a little bit. Kind of looks like a robot mutant ninja turtle. I do not know this for sure, but I think these levels are randomly generated or randomly picked from hand-built levels. You need to let your laser thing reload, and then you can continue blasting robots. Let me get one more robot. There we go. Wave two. The art and particles are awesome. Number three on our list, we have Meek by Meekero. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Now, the reason I picked this game is because of the animations and mechanics. It has some of the most tight, good, polished controls, probably from any game I've seen in a while. You can see here, there's a really nice transition into the game. I'll press space to go in. There's a nice animation, but you would have to actually play it to know why this game is so insane. You can actually, like, run. There's lots of different animations, like this is a walking and then it transitions into run. We can even press the down arrow to slide, which makes our hitbox smaller. We can jump, of course, and we can like crouch down and then we can do a super jump. Boom, slide down there. Boom, boom, jump over there, run over here. There's even like double jumping, which looks super cool. There's even wall jumping, which is one of my favorite parts. And like, look at this. When you go against a wall, he closes his eyes. Number four on our list, we have a game called Everest by Fun Nut. We miss you, Fun Nut. And as you can see, once we start it, this is the title screen. Very nice parallax, but it's just super aesthetic and nice looking. And part of the reason I also picked this is because Funnut made his own custom soundtrack for this game and it's super good, but I muted it for this video because I'm scared of copyright. But if I go ahead and start, you can see that this is a platformer, but the animations and the particles and everything is just so cool. So lots of little details. Like even if you go to the left side, there's some people over here talking. I found this little snowman Easter egg. Anyway, once we start going to the right, this is where the game starts. You can see that there's nice layering effects. We can like go behind it and there's parallaxing, which I really love like this frozen guy go over the frozen ice pits wow i died already this game's actually pretty big i just have a hard time playing the game and talking yes i finally made it over there's this little guy who's just like roar yes we finally made it to somewhere else that's not the same place need to jump over that spike jump boing that person's not doing well boing 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 yes we're finally into the cave i wonder if you can go this way never actually beaten this game i wonder how you beat it or which way you need to go hey there's another camp up here this is camp two number five on our list is called cactus cow Cowboy Ultimate Games, and it is by Coder D6. I played quite a bit of their games before because they're just so good, but as you can see here, if I go ahead and click play, we're this cute little cactus that I really love the animations for, and wherever the red square goes, cactus will spawn in, and it'll shoot spikes going in that direction. I almost got hit there. Okay, as you can see, you kind of have to predict where they're going to be shooting out because it gets really chaotic. Probably need to go, like, right here. Yep, I'm safe. No, I'm not safe. I'm not safe. Number six on our list, we have Mallard Madness by Jarrett, I think. But you can see that right off the bat, it's a very nice pixel art style with good buttons and if I click start this is the cutest thing in the world. He plays this cute little duck and we can shoot this little ball here. Maybe it's an egg. And we try to get these frogs which try to jump on us and once it shoots it kind of bounces around. Also if say you miss you can press space and it'll break your egg in midair. If I shoot and then press space boom it breaks it. Oh, that frog just went bye-bye. You can see that this is like a really hard but really satisfying game. Oh no, oh no, the froggy is getting me. Okay, I got him. Overall, really nice art and good gameplay. Really quick 
snappy movement. I like it. Number seven on our list is called Infinite Bunner. <laughs> I didn't even see that until I read it out loud. And it's by N.J. Davison. And it is so cool. It's a crossy road type game. But it actually is like the real crossy road. As you can see here, it, it actually has all the generation and everything. You can see that it's randomly generating rivers. And here's a really big street that we have to cross. Oh no. There's even like these trains that'll go. No. There's even like bush generation. And yes, a carrot. Totally not from Minecraft. That's a slow car. Oh, that was close. The tire got some of my fur on that one. Uh, well, this these are some fast-moving cars. How am I even supposed to do that? I really like this game. Next, we have Holy Jolly Cannon Bolly. Rhyme by Ripe Mangoes. This game is so cool. The reason I picked it is because of its really nice pixel art, but then also the particles. Watch those particles. Like, seriously, come on, that's so cool. And then once you actually start, you can select the different modes. I'm gonna do main mode, and then what you need to do is you shoot your little cannon, and you can't touch bats or the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and you can see that it kind of bounces up, but you can't touch the bats or anything like that. But you also can't touch the ground either. It's really hard. You have to be quite precise in this game. And then the snow starts blowing, and you start being pushed across the screen. Bats, bats, bats. Okay, you can do this. Cannon santa oh no no here comes the wind it's pushing me no this may or may not be the most frustrating game i've ever played okay got the bat got the bat oh it's different now i thought it'd be the middle thing no stop it stop it i'm just gonna go crazy <laughs> oh yes i'm just gonna stick to the top of the screen if you just spam it never mind yeah this game is actually so fun there's lots of cool particles and lots of effects and it's just very polished and good looking next up we have a classic game it is called dungeon journey 2 well technically this one's not a classic it was shared not that long ago but dungeon journey 1 is a classic Classic. It's by Will William and I love this game. It's a precision movement game kind of. You can see that it starts off pretty simple like we just move to the checkpoint right. Then it starts introducing lava here so we can't touch the lava. And there we go that was pretty easy and then we start getting these arrows. Then you gotta dodge these arrows and then you get introduced to the acceleration ball of doom. As you can see even if I let go of my key it starts sliding. This one's so hard to to do sometimes oh my this one's so hard to stop sometimes when you need it to stop it just won't stop the best way i found to do this level is just by sticking to the bottom oh my gosh i can't do it and talk you have to stick by the bottom and go in between like this yes i did it and then they introduce some new stuff you have to go collect all these keys for these key block things to be unlocked so i need to go ahead and get this last key and there we go i can finally get to this area now we're back to the one ball okay so i need to go up here okay now go here and boop wow that's a lot of keys okay i got the key oh no Okay, now I have the keys. Okay, so in this one, these red things will bounce you off of them. Gonna bounce all over. Oh my gosh. Ooh, wow. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. Now, this is where it gets hard because if you just bump the little thing, you get bounced into the lava. So you really have to be precise with this one. This one. Uh, don't play this game if you're feeling stressed already. This game will just make it 10 times worse. In this level, William throws another thing at us. As you can see here, when we touch these, we switch the ball type. So there's this arrow when you go down and... Oh yes, I did it. Bounce the arrows. So this side, we turn into the normal ball, and we need to get this key. And this side, I turn into the crazy ball, and I need to get the key. Wow, I did it. And now we have a third ball called Jerk, and it is so hard. You literally go light speed when you press it. Okay, so I'm going to conveniently end this game here. Last but not least, we have a kind of obvious one, but it is called Apple by Griff Patch, or maybe it's Appel. I don't know. Griff Patch, tell me how to say this, please. This game is awesome. So you can see that there's a level editor and all that stuff, but if I click play, go to the levels i'm gonna play level one and as you can see here this is a platformer but it is just super super polished and cool it looks like something that could go actually on the app store so let's go ahead and go up here boing and you can see you collect these golden apples and you can squish the enemies there's really nice particles checkpoints of course and look at that explosion particle there's moving platforms and there's a little easter egg up here that i found you have to jump on this invisible block and then you can jump on this block jump on this block jump on this block this block this block jump on this block jump on this but anyway i'm going to continue with the level so that way you can actually see the game but you can see that there's really nice background there's lots of collectibles there's tons of levels and you can even crouch and go into the secret area with lots of golden apples so this game is awesome and it's really cool and that is the 10th game thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did then make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing but anyway this has been owen and i am out